Oh hey, my name's Brad, and I have a really cool shirt on. Just kidding. So today, I went to Empanada Cookhouse. Empanada Cookhouse, it's in Dallas. Of course, I'm gonna leave a link to the website below and to their Instagram. Go check them out. I got chicken jalapeno, chicken ahi, beef chimichurri, beef and potato, banana Nutella, and guava cheesecake. Banana Nutella, listen. Banana Nutella empanada. When I was driving home, my car smelled like this lovely, beautiful family time on a Saturday, Latin flavor, super awesome. It smells delicious. My house smells delicious now. Listen, let's plate this, let's start eating this. I don't feel like waiting any longer. So yeah, Empanada Cookhouse. Let me go to their website for you. You can order online. You go online, you place your order, and then you pick it up. They do catering. They do large orders too. So I got chicken jalapeno, chicken ahi melt, which is Peruvian, spicy beef potato, beef chimichurri, and then my guava cheesecake and my banana Nutella. Will I eat this all? I don't know. I really like that guy. So I got to see the owner. I really have high hopes for him. He's trying to get started. He's trying to grow his business and turn into like a full-fledged restaurant. Right now, it's more like a, a pickup, like you gotta order online to pick it up. But I'm gonna leave a link to his website and a link. Oh yeah, ooh, unique. A, a link to his um, Instagram. What a cool shirt I have on. So let's begin. The dough is so good. Grilled shredded chicken breast, salsa verde, roasted jalapenos, and melted jack cheese. And it's good. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's like a sandwich. It's like a Hot Pocket. One down, five to go. It's unique, I like that. It has nuts in it. It's like a pecan or a walnut. The salsa. Salsa's good. It's like a football. It's like an empanada. Let me get some water. There we go. That's better. I like that angle a lot more. I would love to see him be like in a shopping area where they have like typically have donut shops. Instead of donuts, you can eat these. It's perfect because it's not heavy. It could be dinner or it could just be a snack. They're like, I don't know, little footballs. They're just, they're handheld, they're cool, man. The dough is so good. Very chewy, very chewy dough, and that's a good thing. This is the chimichurri, the beef chimichurri. It's good. Let's move the salsa out of the way. In fact, let's clean up the plate a little bit. Hold on. Okay, <clears throat> I'm back. I had to go clean off the plate. It had salsa on it, because now I'm at dessert. And I wanted to cut it for you guys so you can see what the inside looks like. This is guava cheesecake. That red must be a guava paste. The white must be like a cream cheese. Dang. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. So, this is awesome. It reminds me of like a, uh, fin or like a French croissant, like filled with something. I don't know, it's like a, it's a dessert, but it could be a breakfast. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Remember toaster strudels? Remember what I'm talking about? Pillsbury, put them in the toaster. Put the, the white frosting on top. That's what it tastes like. Toaster strudel. They also have breakfast options. Spinach and egg whites, chorizo breakfast, eggs and potatoes, bacon breakfast. Can you imagine? Instead of going to the donut shop and getting pigs in a blanket, you go here. And you get some guava cheesecake. And you get some chorizo breakfast. Okay. Nutella and banana. What a great combination. Whenever I turn the camera off, I'm looking at that plate. Okay, guava cheesecake is the best. I want to end it on that one. So let's take my last bite of this. This has been an absolutely delightful experience. It's the dough. That's quality dough. I don't know how to describe it. But I'm going to try. It's not flaky. I thought it would be like flaky crumbly. There's no crumbs, which is kind of cool. Kind of gets annoying if there's crumbs everywhere. It's more doughy. It's like it has an egg wash or something. I don't know. It, just, it stays together. It's great. Kind of reminds me of like a pizza dough in a way. Hmm. Could you imagine a dipping sauce for this? Last one. Here we go. Mm-hmm. I'll be back. That was a great experience. Lovely. Make sure you click on his uh, website below.